Hello everybody, Dio here from Care Diagnostics. Uh, today we have a 2004 Hyundai Sonata with a 2.7 liter. This car actually doesn't have anything wrong with it, but I wanted to take the time and share with some of you guys out there how to test a mass airflow sensor. So the mass airflow sensor on this car, I mean pretty much in any car, the mass airflow sensor is located on the inlet dark between the air filter box and the intake manifold. So our particular mass airflow sensor here is a three wire mass airflow sensor. So it's got power, ground, and a signal wire that reports back to the um, computer. So I drew a, a schematic or wiring diagram here about this mass airflow sensor. So let's talk about this mass airflow sensor for a second here. Uh, I hope you guys can see this. I'm sorry for the glare. Uh, on the left hand of the wiring diagram here, I drew the PCM, which stands for power control module or engine computer or ECM. And then this component here is the mass airflow sensor itself. The mass airflow sensor, this one is basically a uh, potentiometer. A potentiometer is nothing but a variable resistor, okay? So the mass airflow sensor has got three wires, right? So one wire is the power feed. So on our right hand side of this uh, wiring diagram slash our schematic is the power feed. This pink wire here is fused and the mass airflow sensor is fed power by this wire and this fuse is usually located under the hood inside the fuse box and this middle wire here is the yellow wire which is the sensor signal or the signal wire that reports to the engine control module and then the third wire here is the sensor ground on this I mean in this instance the sensor ground, the ground is supplied, is supplied by the computer itself. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this. Let me zoom out a little bit. And then, then hopefully you guys can see this. So this here is the sensor. So the sensor, actually the mass airflow sensor, what it does is it senses the amount of air or the air volume that enters the engine. So as the air volume increases, the sensor signal also increases. As it goes down, it also goes down. So this here, this little arrow here is called a wiper. This wiper moves left and right. So if this wiper moves towards the power feed, towards the left, the right here, it will read a higher voltage, right? So it's going to read maybe 5 volt or even more. And then if it goes to the left side, it is going to leave, it's going to read uh, close to zero volt or less than five volt because this side here is the ground. So as the voltage travels, the resistor, it gets reduced. And as it gets to the ground, it gets completely pulled down to ground. Okay. So now we're going to test our mass airflow sensor with a voltmeter and a lab scope. So you don't have to have some fancy equipment to test a mass airflow sensor. Uh, we're going to test it with a multimeter first. Let me show you guys where I'm going to connect. So when I test mass airflow sensors, the first thing I test is the power and the ground. We have to make sure we have power and ground. So uh, we're going to be connected right here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so these three wires here, the pink wire is our power feed, and then the yellow wire is our sensor signal, and then the black wire here is our sensor ground. So I'm gonna be back probing each wire individually and check them. So I'm gonna back probe this wire first, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to back probe it and connect my multimeter 
So the red lead is going to be connected to this back probe here, to this probe, and then the black lead is going to be connected to battery ground. This is how I'm going to check the voltage, okay, the power feed. And then I'm going to move to the middle wire, the second wire, the yellow wire to check to check the signal. But you check this as the engine is running. And then the ground wire, you can check it with the engine running or without the engine running. So on the ground wire, we should see 100 millivolt. Okay? Not more than that. Not especially not more than 200 millivolt. On this one, we should see battery voltage. So let me sit you guys back here so we can test this. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. I'm going to try to get the multimeter and the sensor in the shot. Okay, great. So now let's start by checking our power feed first. I'm going to back probe the pink wire and connect my multimeter lead. By the way, on the multimeter, I am on the voltage scale. So make sure on the voltage scale, I am on the voltage scale. So let's turn the key on and see if we're going to have our if we're going to have battery voltage here. With the key on, we should read at least battery voltage or near battery voltage, you know, 11 or 12 volts. So with the key on, we are reading 11.91 or 92 volt. So this is good. Uh, this is a good voltage right there. So now let's move over to the ground wire. So with the ground wire, we are reading 0 0.01, which is 100 millivolts. So the, send, the computer is sending the ground to our sensor. So that's awesome. Now let's move back or let's go back just one wire over. Let's move to the signal wire, which is our yellow wire. So on this one, we're going to have to start the car and test the mass airflow sensor. This is actually where you test the mass airflow sensor operation. This wire here should have a voltage, a certain voltage at idle, and as you increase your engine RPM, the voltage also should increase. But it shouldn't jump from, let's say, from one to five, or from five to two, no. It should increase smoothly and steadily, so it should be a nice, increase and the computer actually looks at this signal because the mass airflow sensor is one of the viral sensors that the computer looks at to calculate the the air fuel mixture so as this uh, signal is increasing the computer is looking at it and the computer there are uh, programmed values inside the ECM so when the ECM let's say when the ECM sees two volts or three volts so it knows pretty much uh, how much air is going inside the engine and the computer is going to open the injectors accordingly. So it's going to increase the pulse width. I don't want to get too technical with this, but it's going to increase the pulse width. The pulse width is just the, the, the amount of time the injectors stay open. So if we have too much air going inside the cylinder, I mean inside the intake, so eventually in the cylinder, we have to open the injector is a little longer, so we have to spray more fuel inside the cylinder to have more power. So now let's start the engine and look at this signal. So as you guys can see, with the engine idling, we have, we're reading about 0 0.85 to 0 0.84 volts. So as I increase the engine speed, this voltage also should increase. can tell our voltage is increasing nicely and smoothly it's not jumping up and down
So that's what we want to see right there. That this is a good working mass airflow sensor. You know, it increases, it comes back to zero. I mean, it comes back to zero point, you know, 75. It goes up to two, three volts, uh, four volts. I think the max on this one is uh, five volts, but okay. So this is how you can check it with a multimeter. You can also do the same test. You can also do the same test with a lab scope. I basically like a lab scope better because with a lab scope you can see more. A lab scope gives you just much detail, okay? The 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 multimeter is not fast enough, so it's not gonna show you some of the things that you can see with a lab scope. But I understand it's not everybody who has a lab scope right now. So maybe you know you don't have it, but you can still do the same test with the multimeter. So with the lab scope, we're gonna do the same thing. There's no need to check the powers and grounds again. We already confirmed that with our multimeter. I'm just gonna go straight to the lab scope and check, I'm just gonna look at the signal. So the good thing with the lab scope is that it gives you the waveform. So it shows you how the voltage is increasing and then it goes up and it goes down. So you really see that increase and decrease nicely, okay? So let's go to the lab scope. I'm gonna get you guys focused here on the lab scope. And again, I'm doing the same thing on the connector. I mean, I'm just back probing the signal wire. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, now, let's go to scope multimeter. And the lab scope already got it set up just to speed up the process. I have my, so the vertical line here, the vertical line on the left hand side of the screen is the voltage scale. And then the horizontal line is my time base, okay? Uh, again, I mean, this is not a video about how to use a lab scope. Maybe in the future, I'll make videos about how to use a lab scope. But we are just focused on the mass airflow sensor here. Let's see how you can uh, get a mass airflow sensor signal with a lab scope. So now I have my lab scope connected to battery negative, and then I'm using channel A, which is this yellow trace across the screen here. So this yellow wire is actually going to get connected to the sensor signal. So now I'm connected to my sensor signal. I should see some activity here, right? So when I increase, when I increase the uh, engine RPM, you see this line is going up and down. So there's a signal there. There's something going on, but I can't really see it. Why? Because my time base is kind of uh, not right. I have to increase my time base. The thing about uh, lab scope is that you have to have a longer time base to see detail, to see what's actually occurring. So let's increase our time base maybe to one second and see what happens. I'm not gonna increase my voltage scale because I believe this uh, sensor only puts out maybe five volts, so our 10 volt scale is pretty good. Let's see one second. One second uh, time base. Can you guys see the hump now? Let's increase it one more time. Let's go to five seconds. So let me pause this just for a second. Uh, this is pause. The good thing about the lab scope is that you can pause, you can take a capture of this uh, waveform and analyze it. But the good thing is, this sensor, like I said, is a good sensor. There's nothing wrong with it. And as you can see, at idle, we are pretty much reading about, you know, zero to, you know, zero point some volt. And as we increase it, the voltage here increases. So this, this rise you see here, this peak, 
is actually the sense the voltage increasing this voltage increase is what the computer is looking at when the computer looks at this it knows that there is more air going inside the engine okay so it say it actually sends more fuel inside the cylinder this is how your air fuel mixture is calculated and it also looks at other sensors like i said earlier so it goes up and down and when you let it go you let it come back to idle the voltage drops again so the good thing about the lab scope is this so i personally like using a lab scope so uh i guess that's it let me turn the car off let's look at it one more time actually already good so I'm gonna turn the car off so let's recap uh, about what we just talked about so we tested the mass air flow sensor this one is a three wire mass air flow sensor I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive uh, most mass air flow sensors you see out there have six or four or five wires uh, because they have the IAT uh, incorporated into them this one doesn't have the IAT incorporated incorporated in it uh, the IAT is stands for intake air temperature sensor this one doesn't have the intake air temperature sensor in it that's why it only has three wires on this particular car the intake air temperature sensor is located somewhere there in the intake manifold itself so this is how you test a mass airflow sensor if you should have power and ground so start by checking your power and ground first after you check your power and ground and then check your signal wire if you don't have power make sure you have power first it could be a blown fuse etc open wire and etc if you don't have ground make sure you check your computer make sure you check your wiring and and so on same thing with the signal wire and you don't have to have fancy equipment to test this even with a cheap multimeter you can do the same test we just did uh, I think this is like what a $12 uh, multimeter so you can do it with a cheap multimeter too and I think that's it guys so a mass airflow sensor measures the amount of air that enters inside the cylinder and the computer looks at this information of this signal to calculate or to know the amount of fuel that it needs to send inside the cylinders to keep your car running properly so i hope you like this video uh if you like it give me a thumbs up if you don't like it give me a thumb down but if you do you gotta tell me why because i always want to get better there's always room for improvement right <laughs> okay um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel K Diagnostics because we have great videos coming up. We've been busy in the shop. We've been filming a lot. I just need to find time and edit all these videos and put them out there so that you guys can enjoy them. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.